Welcome to TMR Customs TV. Today we're going to teach you how to choose a suspension joint for your next build. In the first video, we're going to take a look at TMR Lifetime Hives, Chromoly Rod Ends, Poly Bushings, and Johnny Joints. In the second video, we'll take a look at TMR Anti Wall Balls and Uniballs. In the third video, we'll take a look at how to choose the right size joint. Let's get started. So how do we know which joint is best for your needs? It really comes down to usage, climate, and size. A poly bushing is the most basic. They're cheap and serviceable. You can grease them, and when they wear out, you simply buy two new poly bushing halves, a new inner sleeve, and you're good as new. The other major advantage is they're not susceptible to mud, salt, road debris, etc., so they're durable. The downfall is they're fairly rigid. They're stiff bushing. They don't offer much flex or misalignment. So if you require high travel, these are not for you. Eventually they'll fatigue your brackets and could cause breakage. Another drawback is strength. If you're running high horsepower or large tires, choose another style joint. The next step up from a poly bushing would be a chromoly rod end. They're affordable, strong, and provide lots of flex and misalignment, which can also be increased with the addition of high misalignment spacers. We also offer an offset rod end, which can help in steering applications where your link bar might hit the differential cover or other components on your axle. The downfall of the chromoly rod ends is they're not serviceable, so when they wear out, it's time to throw them in the trash and get a new one. When your joints wear out, you can often retain the stainless steel misalignment spacers and reuse them. The other advantage of a rod end over poly bushing is you can run larger bolt sizes, which is great when you need increased strength. Moving on, we're going to take a look at Johnny joints from Curry Enterprises. First, make sure you're buying a genuine Johnny joint like sold on TMRCustoms.com. There's many knockoffs out there and they often perform poorly. The Johnny joint is a hybrid between a poly bushing and a rod end. They have polyurethane inserts so they ride nice and hold up to mud, salt and road debris. They also have built in high misalignments so they provide more flex than a standard poly bushing. Another advantage is they can be greased and rebuilt with replacement pieces just like a poly bushing. A disadvantage to Johnny joints is strength and bolt size. You're limited to a half inch, 9 16 or 5 8 bolt. Great for a Jeep, not so great for a rock crawler, rock racer, or bouncer. Another disadvantage is the width of the head. Being that it's wider than a standard rod end, it doesn't provide as much flex or misalignment. Now we'll look at the Lifetime Heim from TMR Customs. At TMR, we've been selling suspension joints for over 10 years. So when it came time to manufacture our own joint, we've had a pretty good idea of what you guys wanted for features and benefits. We essentially made a hybrid of a rod end and a Johnny joint. They have the strength of a rod end, provide tons of flex and misalignment, like a Johnny joint, they're greasable, sealed, and can be rebuilt. They allow you to run a larger bolt than a Johnny joint, perfect when you need the added strength. The whole joint is made at our facility, so we control every aspect of the manufacturing. The body is made from heat treated chromoly, the ball is made from heat treated stainless steel, and the spanner nuts also made from heat treated chromoly. The races are made from a proprietary blend of bronze. It's actually created in a foundry only 10 minutes from a shop. You can see we quite a quad directional grease groove ring there, as well as a ring for the life seal, which keeps elements and debris from penetrating inside the joint. If the lifetime of wears out, you can simply buy a master rebuild kit, which includes new races and seals. If you break the body of the joint, we'll replace it. That's what makes this lifetime. You always retain the body, the ball, and the spanner gun. That's it. Hopefully you've learned how to select the best suspension joint for your next project. Stick around for a second video where we'll look at TMR anti-wobbles and you in a balls. Happy flexing!